Hello friends, it's Andrea and I am coming at you with a weight loss uh, check-in uh, for, well I guess man we're pretty much middle of July, third week of July, I don't know, I feel like time has been flying by. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds, um, I'm not counting calories, um, or anything like that. I'm really kind of doing like a tu intuitive eating kind of a thing. Um, it's, uh, something that Crane Crabtree has, the four basics of, um, you know, drink your water, get your sleep, don't eat when you're not hungry, um, as well as she has a 24-hour plan that you make at the beginning of the day where you just basically say, like, this is what I'm going to eat. And it's about creating that, uh, relationship with yourself, um, that you are going to do what you say you're going to do. So, um, honestly, I, I guess back in May and June, uh, yeah, May and June, I was doing the Nicole Wilkins, um, shredding for summer, um, as kind of a challenge for myself, um, to explore lifting weights more, seeing how I could level up my, uh, like fitness routine. And, you know, while I was paying the hundred dollars for it, I was like, well, I might as well follow her food plan as well. Um, it is what you would think it would be. It was a lot of, you know, sweet potatoes and chicken breast. Uh, so it wasn't, um, foods that I would normally eat, nor is it foods that I think I could eat for the rest of my life and be like satisfied and feel good about. So, um, at the end of that program, um, I don't really think I spent enough time really kind of thinking like, well, what do I want this to look like, right? So I've kind of been spinning my wheels and acting like I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I mean, really, it's as simple as like, well, Andrea, what do you want to do? Like, you know what are, you know, good foods to eat. You know what foods you enjoy. Um, you know, you've been doing this, you know, since I guess last October, October of 2019. And you're down 50 pounds, so stop acting like you don't know what this is about. <laughs> I think it's just kind of funny, the mind games that we kind of play with ourselves. Um, you know, I think uh, I did see some good results on following Nicole Wilkins' plan and just doing whatever she had prescribed that I kind of let my brain go to mush, at least, on making those decisions for myself. So... I really need to get back into um, deciding ahead of time more than just the 24 hours because um, I do my meal plans in the morning where I just write out what I was, you know, going to do. But before I did the Nicole Wilkins, I was starting it, doing the meal prep on Sundays and just kind of prepping out like my, um, my breakfast or my lunches um, and then making like um, just a schedule for what our family was going to eat for dinner for the week. So I felt like I kind of took a lot of that decision making and just did it all on Sundays so that every day during the week I wasn't have to, having to think about like, oh, what do I want for breakfast today? Or, oh, what do I want for lunch today? It was kind of already planned out, um, which I think was really helpful for me. Um, and I could be really intentional about those choices right at the beginning of the week. So um, that is something on my radar that I think I need to go back to doing, um, because it's exhausting sometimes to think about like, oh, like, what do I want to have for breakfast today? Well, what's a good option? What do I feel like eating? Like, which one of these is going to weigh out? Can I marry the two together? Like, I don't know. So it's just stuff that I don't really want to be thinking about so much, um, just because I have a lot of other stuff on my plate right now. <laughs> Funny. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, and it's just, I don't know, you just kind of get into this, like, you're just like arguing with yourself, like you should be doing this, but why aren't you doing this? And you need to be doing this. So I just take the drama out of it and just say, this is what we're doing. Like you need to figure out on Sunday, like, what do you, what does your breakfast look like for this week? What does your lunch look like for this week? And let's just be done with it and let's not think about it until next Sunday. So Anyways, I digress. Um, I know you guys came in here for a weight loss update, and I will not disappoint uh, in the way that I'll just give you the information. 
Not that I have like big news or anything for you. Um, so anyways, uh, last week was really disappointing for me. Um, you know, for those of you who checked in, you know, I had a gain last week of 1.1 pounds. Um, my weekly average last week was 200 pounds. Um, or not last week, but you know, last time I did an update. And so this week, my weekly average was 199.3. Yay! Um, so I am back under the 200 pound, um, mark as far as a weekly average. So I feel good about that. I know I'm saying that a little half-heartedly. Um, so I was down 0.7 pounds, um, this past week, which is not down completely, um, of that 1.1 gain, but it is the majority of that. So I'm really trying to feel good about that, guys. Our thoughts are just such powerful things. Um, you know, when you're thinking good things, you feel good things, right? And so, um, you know, I've really been catching myself a lot, being like, oh, geez, like I just feel like I'm bouncing around the same couple of numbers and I'm not consistently losing or losing as often as I'd like to, not even consistent or the majority. Um, so it's been, it's been a little bit difficult, um, in that way. So I've been having to do, um, a lot of the model that Brooke Castillo, um, teaches as far as, um, just trying to get my thoughts where I want them to be so that I can feel the things that I want to feel. Cause I don't want to feel like I'm not succeeding at this. I don't want to feel like, I can't get a handle on this, right? Um, I want to feel like I'm capable. I want to feel like, you know, I I will figure this out. I am figuring this out. Um, and that I am doing it, right? Because I still lost 0. 0.7. And I need to just forget that I had a gain of 1.1. Because it's not helping me right now, right? To, to focus on that gain and that I haven't lost all of what I had gained the week. Like, it's helping nobody. Like, just... Take it out of the equation. Focus on today. How can I show up for myself as the best version of myself and who I want to be today, right? Um, I don't want to be ruminating on, you know, who I was a couple weeks ago where I had, a, you know, in my mind, a significant gain. And in the whole scheme of things, though, is it a significant gain? Like, still down 50 pounds, right? Um you know, that's, that's a, that's a fluctuation, um, you know, and not something that I have to be, um, obsessing about, right? Like cut the drama, drop it, let's move forward. So anyways, <laughs> um, I just, you know, I just want you guys to know it's not always sunshine and roses, but you also can't get stuck down in the thorns and make that your new home. Like you have to figure out what do you want? how do you want to feel and what do you need to do to, you know, get the results that you're desiring. So anyways, thank you so much for hanging in here uh, with me today. I usually try to keep these a little bit shorter, um, but I just, I felt like I wanted to kind of share those things with you guys today. Um, so please go ahead and give this video a like. Um, I would love it if you would continue on this journey with me um, by subscribing to my channel um, so that you are up to speed on all of my mental drama all the time. So <laughs> thanks for being here, guys. Um, comment down below if you are on a similar journey. I would love to check in with you and see how you're doing as well. So do that. All right. Bye, guys.